Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at ways in which we could make our files and folders public in Dropbox. And now there are two ways of doing it. But before that, what does making it public mean? It basically means that if you make it public, uh, people who don't have access to your Dropbox, which means that uh, people who haven't shared a specific folder with you, or people or even people that doesn't even have a Dropbox account can actually uh, download files from your Dropbox as long as you give them that specific download link. Now let's look at how to uh, make specific files slash folders public. Now let's look at uh, the files first. Now if I go to my uh, default Dropbox website it will take me to my uh, home where I'm uh, given the files and folders or I'm presented with the files and folders inside my Dropbox uh, cloud storage. Now if I click on one of them, such as my uh, JPEG, it says share link. Now if I click on this, it takes me to a new page and it gets me this uh, pop-up. Now what that means is either you can email this uh, download link to a specific name slash email address, you can share it on Facebook, or you can uh, share it on Twitter as long as uh, your Facebook and Twitter are linked through your settings, or you can actually click this get link button and it's going to copy a link to this onto your clipboard. And let me uh, control V and go to that link. And even if you're not a Dropbox user, uh, you can uh, you can click download and it actually downloads the image for you. So let me because my uh, what do you call it? Uh, Google Chrome is uh, logged in using my loot tutorial. I'm going to go to my Safari where it's not. I think it's not uh, logged in. Let me check. There we go. It said sign in. But still, I can just download this Dropbox. If I click on it, direct download, or I could add to my Dropbox, but in order to do that, I need to sign in. So if I press direct download, direct download, uh, it's going to directly download to my computer. So that is really useful. All you need to do is just give this link to whoever you want to uh, share this specific file to. You can even share this uh, main.html. Even you don't have to go here. You can just click on this share link, and it will take you to that new uh, page where you can. Uh, download, share, get link, and so on. And if I copy paste that link, it's going to take me to the download link. There we go, download. Okay, so that's one way. Another way is to go to, uh, actually another way is go actually to go to your Dropbox folder. Now let me make this big. And say I want to share this OX, OSX Mountain Lion icon. Now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to Dropbox. And then all I need to do is click on share link. And what that does is actually take you to that specific uh, share link. Exactly the same as when you access it from your website. So if you access it on your folder, it's just like a quick a shortcut to that sharing page onto your website. Now, currently my uh, main.html, my Gmail icon, and my mountain lion icon is shared. But what if I don't want to share it anymore? All I need to do is go to my links over here in the tab uh, below sharing. If I click on it, it will tell me the current uh, public links I've created. And if I go to here on the right, there will be the cross signs and if I click on it it says remove link to OS6 blah 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 JPEG and if I remove link it's going to remove link to uh, that specific file so even if uh, someone has the download link I gave him to for that uh, OS6 mountain lion it they won't be able to download anymore same goes with my main.html and my uh, what was that I think that was my gmail that was a gmail icon or something Okay, so uh, that's a really cool way of sharing uh, your file slash folder publicly. Now, uh, if you created your Dropbox account before somewhere uh, in October 2012, so before that, you actually get by default this public folder. And if you have this public folder, let me go to my folder and say, for example, uh, I want to uh, share this. Amazon uh, 
image, I put this and drag it into my public folder. And once it's done, well, there's like a quick tutorial, but I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to right click on it, go to Dropbox, and then I, I'm going to copy public link. Now, if I go to uh, Google Chrome and paste that public link and press enter, it's going to give me that uh, image. In because it was an image, it just gave me like a big uh, default size or original size of the image. But then if it's like a document, it might give you the preview of the document or you'll be able to download the document. However, uh, because of this new uh, share link feature, uh, in the, in your Dropbox, both in the website and the folder, the public link has been uh, disabled by default because you don't really need to put stuff into your public link anymore. However, if you like the public link, I like me, I personally love using the public link uh, to actually uh, sort out, sort between and differentiate between the files I'm actually uh, giving to the public and the files I'm giving it for private use because I don't have to like keep on checking this links uh, place because it's just a dialect uh, copy paste a uh, URL and if I want to remove this all I need to do is delete this from the public and put it back to your default Dropbox or anywhere else. Now if you want to enable this uh, public uh, public folder in your Dropbox, you can't just create a new folder and call it public, you have to have this public folder created for you. All you need to do is go to uh, dropbox.com com slash enable public folder. There we go. Now because I've already enabled my public folder, uh, I can't really uh, show you the page to enable it, it's just a one click of the button because if I do, if I go to that enable public folder link, it's going to take me to my public folder directly because I've already enabled it. But I'll uh, post the link to that public enable public folder uh, Dropbox link to the de in the description so that if you want public folder, you can just uh, click one click on the button and it's going to automatically add a public folder to your Dropbox account. So uh, that's the basics of uh, making your folders and files public in Dropbox.